So the third uh, question and the final one is what are some mechanisms that gram positive bacteria rely on to enhance right their pathogenicity so remember we had those enzymes and these enzymes actually were did a great job of avoiding complement activation remember that they also did things like they dissolved and also created oops blood clots we also had some that actually resembled and those were more like the antigens too so we had some antigenic structures that also served to mimic some of the human tissue right so connective tissue based So these uh, particular antigens look like connective tissue. So these are some of the ways in which gram-positive uh, bacteria can enhance their pathogenicity. They enhance their pathogenicity, how, why? By escaping detection. What's the other one? Listeria, remember Listeria? Those bacteria did a great job of basically living, right? They live inside those cells. And because of that, it takes them quite a long time to gain hold and colonize. Remember, those are the two important things that bacteria need to do uh, in terms of survivability in the human host. So these are different ways that gram-positive bacteria have used to enhance their pathogenicity. But the final way, right, the final, well, the final two ways, let's put it that way, are the toxin production, and the spore formation, right? And some of these bacteria, boy, they go straight from spore to toxin almost, like the C. difficile, for instance, spore to toxin, um, anthrax, spore to toxin. I mean, it just doesn't take um, a long time for those bacteria to realize they found themselves a great place, and boy, they just start producing toxin right away. So thank you so very much for visiting educator.com.